everyone in this video i want to show you a very exciting game play between the second youngest grandmaster from the world ramesh babu pragnananda and the best indian player vishanand this game was played in tata steel india bliss tournament on 30 november 2018 round 6 let's see the game i started with e4 and black replied with the sicilian knight to f3 d6 d4 attack in the center c takes on d4 Knight takes on d4, knight to f6, taking the pawn, defending, and a6. With this move, we have the knight of variation. This pawn move controls b5 square, not allowing the bishop or the knight to jump here. Also, in the future, black prepares b5, intending to place the light square bishop on the long diagonal. Why continue with a3, a move that breaks opening principles, it controls b4 square. In this position, white should have developed his bishops, the dark square bishop on the most four square on g5 and the light square bishop on c4. Black continue with g6, intending to put the bishop on the long diagonal. And this is known as the Dragodorf, a combination between dragon and Nidorf. Bishop to e2, developing another piece and black does the same. Bishop to e3, short castle, queen to d2, preparing long castle. b5, expanding on the queen side, black will develop his square bishop on b7. White finishes opening and since we have opposite castling, we'll have a sharp game. Each player will storm his pawns on his opponent. Black continue with bishop to b7, f3, controlling g4, not allowing the knight to jump to g4 and also prepares g4 move knight bd7 developing the last minor piece and h4 white starts the attack and black continues with knight to e5 intending to play knight to c4 getting the darker bishop in the dragon when our opponent plays h4 we must reply with h5 because if white pushes h5 his attack is very strong why continue with bishop to h6 and black is forced to take this bishop because after rook to c8 bringing the least active piece into the game white takes the bishop black recaptured h5 opening the h file knight takes g4 knight to f6 queen to a6 checking to g8 knight to f5 threatening mate this is a piece sacrifice but white will open the g file so black has to take g takes e takes Rook d to g1 check, knight to g6, e takes on a5, the knight is pinned, queen to d7, attacking the pawn, f takes on g6, f takes on g6, the queen defends h7, rook takes, h takes, bishop to c4 check, b takes on c4, queen to h8, king to f7, and black is losing the queen and also rook to h8, mate is threatened. So in the game, black took on h6, white recaptured and rook to c8 bringing the least active piece into the game. Black counter attack in this position is to sacrifice the rook on c3 and then attack this pawn with the queen and also bring the other rook on c8. Why continue with g4? This is too slow because allows black to counter attack on c3. Better was to push h5. Black took on c3 white recapture queen to a5 attacking the pawn white continues his attack by sacrificing the knight for the moment he's threatening mate so black has to take g takes the g file was opened but if uh, white gives a check on g1 black can return the knight back so there is no danger for black in this position that's why black took on c3 rook d to g1 check and black replied with knight to g6 better was to put the knight from f6 to g4 uh, in this position white has two options to take with the pawn or with the rook if he takes the, the, with the pawn we can see that the g file is closed and also e4 pawn is unprotected and black can threaten mate on c2 white cannot stop this if he tries queen to d2 black gives mate on a1 if uh, white takes with the rook black takes the rook queen takes on g5 white doesn't want to take with the pawn king to h8 queen takes 
going to a1 check king to d2 and black is a rook up in this position in the game knight to g6 was played so before playing a move first we should look at moves forward and if they are not working only then we can bring them back after this move white took the knight black recaptured with the f pawn freeing f7 square for his rook to come and uh, defend h7 why continue with h5 trying to open black king but the drawback of this move is that black can play attacking moves with tempo forcing white to defend in this case black can take only four threatening a mate on c2 which happened in the game white took the bishop black continue with queen to a1 check king to d2 knight to e4 check king to e3 queen to c3 check bishop to d3 blocking the check queen to d2 check giving another piece but black will capture white queen also the king is coming toward the center so we had king takes only four queen takes only four eight takes on g6 attacking the queen queen to f4 check king to d5 it seems that uh, black king is in danger since both white rooks are looking at it but everything is okay black continue with h6 not allowing white to open this file another way was to continue the attack with queen to e5 white king is mated very soon after rook to e5 check king to f4 queen to f6 check king to g3 rook to g5 check king to h2 queen to f2 king to h3 queen to f3 threatening mate so the only movement we have made in the game h6 was played and after this move white played g7 attacking the rook rook to c7 threatening queen to e5 mate king to e6 d5 freeing the 6 rank for the rook to come and give a check rook to g6 rook to c6 check king takes only 7 the drawback of this move is that white king can be pushed backward on the 8th rank after queen to e7 and after king to d8 we have mate in two moves with rook to c7 and queen to e7 so in the game white king took only 7 and uh, black exchanged the rooks white took and the problem with this move is that the bishop is undefended and black can win it after queen to g5 check picking up the bishop instead black took the pawn in this position he is two pawns up and he has a queen for rook and the bishop why continue with the bishop to d3 the bishop was under attack black should start pushing his pass pawn black prepared this with queen to e5 check controlling h5 square king to d7 h5 rook to g1 check king to f6 rook to g6 check king to f7 rook to a6 placing the rook behind the pawn but black can push this pawn to h4 and white cannot take this pawn due to queen to e7 giving a check and picking up a rook in the game black played a5 it seems that b5 pawn is free to take but it's not because after the bishop takes the pawn we have queen to e7 check king to c6 queen to e8 check king to c5 and queen to e3 check and the rook is lost so in the game after a5 king to c6 was played b4 a takes a takes king to d7 king to g7 attacking the rook better for black was to push the pawn due to the same reason queen to e7 picking up the rook rook to e6 attacking the queen queen to d4 king to e8 black has to be careful for one moment because white threatens to give a perpetual check for example after h4 rook to g6 check king to h8 rook to a6 check king to g7 rook to g6 check black cannot avoid white checks so we have a draw in the game black prevented black threat by playing queen to g4 and black would gladly give his queen for the rook and the bishop because his pawn will promote soon so after this move white played king to e7 h4 bishop to e2 attacking the queen queen to g5 check king to d6 h3 black pawn is two squares from transforming into a queen rook to e7 check king to f8 rook to e5 attacking the queen queen to f6 check 
King takes on d5, h2, and after this move, white resigned because he's not able to prevent black from promoting. For example, after a rook to h5, black will play queen to f6, check and getting the rook. So this was the game between Pragnananda and Vishanand. I hope you found this video useful. Please watch other games from my channel and leave some comments and suggestions in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.